The markets could be on the verge of marking their biggest and probably last leg up. October is an important month, as this October comes every four years, the October of the having an election year, and traditionally, that October is when things start to get parabolic. If we get something similar yet again, the final preparations need to be made right now. I want to talk about altcoins and why some may perform better than others along with some examples as always. If you're new around here consider subscribing to get more of these videos. And if you're looking for some exchanges to trade on then check out JumpX with link in description. They're non-KYC and non-VPN. As well as 0% spot trading fees a futures trading fee discount and cash back on every trade. There's also the insane 1077 leverage mode for you dgens out there with the only exchange offering such. There's also CoinW who I'm running an exclusive campaign with including zero maker trading fees, getting a free $100 for just making a trade, and up to 30k in deposit bonuses. Markets move up and down but if I were to draw that out it wouldn't quite represent how price action really acts. I think we'd all agree that this schematic isn't a good representation of how charts move, regardless of the time frame even as low as the one minute, or with how volatile the crypto asset classes. Instead something like this is more appropriate. Price trends a direction, ranges, and then trends again irrespective of if it's up or down. We call this accumulation and distribution. Accumulation being the consolidation period with low volume and buyers gradually picking up a particular asset. Then there's the distribution with strong volatility and high volume between sellers and buyers. Going back to this image it's not like buyers and sellers are taking turns doing their thing. Market makers turn over billions a day and this needs to be done in a methodical manner. This type of price action is extremely difficult to tame and build significant trending moves off. If you didn't quite get that go back and watch that again, because it's a part of an extremely important consideration I want you to make when picking what assets to invest in. There's a bunch of things I've told you to appraise when making investments over these past couple of months, and this one is right up there for being the most important. This will all best be illustrated with examples, and since we've already had a huge leg up in this very cycle, we'll be using charts from that October 2023 to March 2024 time period. So here's Bitcoin, September things start rolling and goes vertical up to March. I'll now be showing you two real charts of altcoins that'll go unnamed for the time being. And based on everything I said in the earlier spiel, tell me which of the two you'd buy. I have it on the weekly. And this is leading up to that week where Bitcoin started moving. So this is chart 1, extremely volatile and lively. It went up over 300% since its low in June 2022 and came back down to those lows. Perhaps another opportunity to get back in. And then we have chart 2, an asset that since that same June low is pretty much the exact same price and in fact made lower lows, being stuck in this range for a year and a half. If you picked asset when you did well, from that point it bounced up 160% from 50 cents to a dollar 28. However, had you picked chart 2, you would have made 660%, with the coin going from a dollar 50 to 11 bucks. Now there's an incredible amount of nuances here, and so I'm almost sort of inclined to not even reveal what these crypto are. I'll say it anyway with the first chart being of Polygon and the second of Thor Chain. But the main point is Polygon prior to that run was coming off of a multi-week distribution distribution and Rune on the other hand had low volatility low volume stuck in a massive accumulation pattern. Don't blow this out of proportion, but back when the Bitcoin pump began from its lows at 16k, a major reason Capo faded it was because he thought the base Bitcoin made its move off would be too weak to sustain growth to the upside, he felt it overextended. And zooming out he was evidently wrong, but I think his mistake was being too caught up in the lower time frames. I tweeted not so long ago how my personal outlook was that this whole thing down here was a range, and this was simply a deviation below, and so to me it was a sufficient base. A lot like Polygon Quant was another crypto that did incredibly well in the bear market going up 460%, but since that top it had vicious distribution to the downside, and when Bitcoin started its move Quant could barely keep up. But if I told you back then about how lackluster Polygon and Quant would perform up to this point in the cycle, most of you wouldn't believe me. They were some of the most raved about crypto at that time being shilled all over the socials. Guys like Miles making dedicated videos, but an investing concept as simple as accumulation and distribution tore them apart. So far the point is this base is really important, and if you haven't figured it out by now, a lot of your favorite crypto have already made huge runs. And so now you have to ask yourself if Bitcoin goes parabolic from here, 
Is your altcoin looking a little too much like Polygon or Quant leading up to that run? Because if so, I just showed you how that ends. Now, to be extremely fair, you won't find many crypto looking like that Thorchain chart because we have had a mini everything up run. But there's still some crypto out there forming stronger bases than others. Going back to our drawings, I guess the way I'd put it is look for crypto that are doing this versus those that look like they'll do this before that Bitcoin run. Instead of the weekly, we'll go on the daily because I'm not expecting multi-week ranges here. For example something like a chain link could possibly have this as its base which it's been in for around 40 days so far. But then something like a Tau is creating a textbook range here which it's about to be in for around 100 days. Probably one of the highest counts of any top 100 asset. I constantly get asked about my opinions on BitTensor price action but I've left it sort of alone for a while until now so that I could make the very point I just did. Stacks looks like it's also one in this 100 day range. And then hopefully for dot fans this is its range of 40 odd days and that it doesn't break down further. This is actually one of the reasons I recently went into DeFi, with Curve also forming a 100 day range and Convex quite possibly having a 65 week range depending on how you look at it. Remember this is just simply one of a multitude of things to consider, but I'd highly recommend at least looking into it. There's one more category of crypto to consider however, those that aren't coming off of hard distribution downward and nor are they range bound. Instead the opposite, coin moving hard to the upside. Suzu recently tweeted this in response to Sailor highlighting the analytics of acquiring Bitcoin, that the best way to make money in trading is buying all-time highs. Now there was a funny response by someone saying that's how he blew up 3AC, but no matter what the guy still ran it up billions, and he's definitely not wrong per se. So going back to the October 2023 to March 2024 Bitcoin and crypto run, assets like Akash Network were already hugging cycle highs, up 700% from range lows. And yet had you bought from that date at 90 cents per AKT, it ran up a 7x to 7 bucks a pop. Injective another one up 600% from picture perfect accumulation, but then ripping again from 6 to 53 dollars had you bought at highs. And I assume I don't need to talk about Caspa and this regard going from 4 to 20 cents making new highs time and time again. And so maybe this is another avenue, paying attention to coins near cycle highs right now in case of that Bitcoin run. Casp is currently 20% down from highs. And another DeFi play we went into heavy is Ave which made cycle highs just a couple days ago also coming off quite possibly a 2 year accumulation period. I don't like using fractals to trade but sometimes they come in handy to showcase points. This is that Akash chart overlaid on Ave. The idea with this buying all-time high part is getting in before a potential parabola. So we're not saying buy these highs, but rather even if that coin is at current highs it's okay because if it is that base before things go vertical you're catching a monster move no matter what. But there you have it, how charts move and using that as a consideration before putting your grandless pension into assets X, Y, and Z may be a wise decision. Make a chart and categorize each crypto you're interested in into either decent range still distributing or cycle highs. Don't base Base your entire investment thesis on this but like I said something to consider. If you're still watching and somehow aren't subscribed please tell me how that works. Remember what I said about October and getting ready in accordance. Check out those exchange links in the description as well as my Twitter and Instagram if you have any questions. And you may or may not see me again soon.